The Indianapolis 500 is called the greatest spectacle in racing, but behind the scenes there's a group called IndyCar Ministry that serves all members of the racing community, both at the 500 and at all the races on the tour as well. Tonight we take you to the chapel service and beyond as we show you how they're stepping out of the boat to reach fans of the sport as well. Are you ready? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hundreds of thousands of people crammed the Indianapolis Motor Speedway the day before Memorial Day for the Indy 500. But before much of the hysteria, drivers, racing team members, and workers gathered to worship. And they heard the story in Matthew when Peter started to walk on the water to get to Jesus. Every one of us in here need to figure out what it means to us to get out of the boat. I'm not talking, uh, maybe I'm talking literally for somebody, but for all of us, it's basically a figurative thing. What is it I need to do to get out of the boat in regards to my faith with Jesus Christ? I would imagine most every one of us in this room, maybe not all, but most of us say, I believe in Jesus Christ, I believe in God, and I have faith in him. Which really should mean I trust him. With what? With what? We pick on Peter in this story. And people think that Jesus is picking on him, but I don't think Jesus is picking on him. When Jesus said, you have little faith. What about the other 11 guys? You know, what were they doing? You know, they had, did they have none? Um, they didn't get out of the boat, Peter did. The IndyCar ministry group was just getting their day started as they walked out the words of walking on water, getting out of the boat to go where the fans were with a message of hope. Aaron and his band are going to fire up, and they'll be playing. Hopefully that'll be a good draw for a thing that we're calling track theology. And um, we didn't call it chapel because we, we just didn't want church people showing up. We want other people showing up as well. So if we call it chapel, they may not. And, uh, but it's going to be a time where they're going to be sharing a lot of things, drawing people over. We've got a couple of Mazda roads and Andy drivers are going to be there. Jack Root is going to be there help ma master ceremony things for us. Well, let's just say it's a gathering of people that believe. But it's also a gathering of people that believe and like to have fun and love to celebrate. Because that sometimes is a little difficult unless we turn to each other for strength and remember that we all believe in the same thing, that Jesus Christ died on the cross so that you and I can enjoy eternal life. Race fans that were walking through the village stopped and listened to the music. They had a chance to hear the hope they might have if they accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. They got Bibles from a local church. They were impacted on the day that many didn't expect to be impacted by anything. You can be impacted in the same way. Give us a call here at the station if you want to know more about starting a relationship with Jesus Christ. We'd love to talk to you about it. Excellent day there on the day before Memorial Day. Zach Dyser, Kyle Miller, William White, Dylan Klein, Stephanie Sanders, and more will make an excellent weekend. The FCA Legends of Northwest Ohio weekend, July 10th and 11th. A free football camp put on by the Legends Friday the 10th, the evening at Elida. A golf outing on Saturday morning. You can golf with the Legends, although Kyle Miller's already been spoken for by a Sunday school teacher who happens to be a Hall of Fame coach. You can email me for ways you can be a part of this life-changing weekend. Looking forward to it.